Zach Pratt has been experimenting with food in the Lewiston area for many, many years. He's the chef and owner of Boba in Lewiston, and we're about to see Boba in many different locations in Maine. Right near you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we cooking up today? Today we're tr cooking a traditional northern-style Thai salad called Nam Suk, uh, also known as beef salad. Uh, it's a lime and fish sauce vinaigrette and chili base with toasted rice powder. Uh, today we're using meat from Maine Family Farms here in Portland, Maine. We're also using some uh, cucumbers from Farmer's Garden here um, in Auburn, Maine as well, and some Thai chilies from Farmer's Garden as well. Lots of local ingredients, that's important to you. Local flair, like, that's yeah. what our model has been since. Even when we open to a franchise, that's going to be the model, is local flair. And what's nice about this dish is minimal cooking. So what, right now we'll get started on the beef, beef is that the exactly. first move here? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna turn um, the heat on to medium to high heat. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get a nice sear on the beef. And you don't wanna cook it too long, you were telling me. No, because you actually wanna do this uh, about mid-rare um, because we actually wanna penetrate the meat with all the different flavors. The fish sauce, the lime juice, the chilies, uh, also the mint. So it's actually gonna tenderize the meat as you mix it in the bowl and you'll hear see that shortly. Should I mix it you, up a yeah, little? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. And you. So we should start on the sauce here, right? Yes. Or is that the next step? Yes, so the okay. sauce is basically, um, it's two tablespoons of lime juice. And that's about a two count in a squeeze bottle. A two count, which is about two tablespoons of fish sauce as well. You're also gonna do a little bit of rice powder. That's about a teaspoon. And then we're actually gonna, how hot do you like it? Listen, I go warm. I go warm, maybe not crazy spicy. All right, as we call in our household, Thai style or American <laughs> style. Let's go in between. All right, in between, we Something can do a that. In between. So you're gonna cut these into rough, rough coins. Um, you don't, you don't. The seeds and Thai chilies are very, very spicy. So what we're gonna do here is a little bit of chilies, a little bit of onion as well, that's looking quite good. We'll turn the heat up a little more. Okay. We're gonna put some red onion in this vinaigrette as well. And then we're gonna chiffonade, which is just a fancy word for finely mince some mint. Clearly the Lewiston area has accepted these flavors. They have, actually. Um, the one way we did it is just explaining to the new customers in the area about what we do, how we got started. And it's been like our mission statement to educate people on Northern style Thai food. Um, we don't only do Thai food, we do uh, Vietnamese food as well. Um, I actually met my Vietnamese, I met my wife, um, well soon to be wife, Keisha, uh, actually in Portland, Maine. This is, she introduced me to a lot of these foods. Um, Ban mi, I never knew what a ban mi was, ever. Uh, it was just like a classic Vietnamese sandwich that we used to get at Kim's shop here on uh, St. John Street. Uh, and then the beef salad was introduced to me uh, when I first uh, went to one of her family parties. That beef looks just about okay. done. All right. So What's uh, next? So basically, uh, you have all the maripol ingredients in the bowls. You have the fish sauce, the lime, the mint. Uh, you also have the red onion as well. I'm going to take those tongs over over here and you're going to get a little bit of um you're going to get a little bit of the juice in there because you actually want some of that beef flavor and then you're going to carefully put the beef that you just cooked mid-rare looks great thanks amanda <laughs> and then we're going to set that right over there my small part in this small part you know garnish kind of a big thing in today's restaurant so you know thinly sliced cucumber to add the freshness to the beef salad so we just kind of lay that on a plate like so. You can use a, you know, a knife or you can use a mandolin if it's accessible at home. Not everybody has a mandolin at right. home, unless you, you know, your mom bought some Pampered Chef. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, she did, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then- Lay down some greens. Lay down some greens. And then we're actually gonna have a little bit of rice right here. We do it like this. You can do a better rice or you can just eat the salad. I just do a little rice just for, you know, a little bit of flair and a little bit of texture. Mix that all Mix up. Mix that all up. Um, and then it looks like it needs a little more rice powder because we put the beef juice in there. So put a little bit of that. 
Just to thicken it up. Just to thicken it up. It's basically like almost like an Asian maripoa. Amer I mean, Asian roux. So Asian roux is basically rice powder or some kind of chilies. And it's just a way to like enhance the flavor. Okay. And all that is is toasted rice on the stove. And then you grind in like a pepper grinder. Okay, it's very so you simple. Can make your own, yeah. Exactly. And it looks like we need some more mint here. So we'll add some more fresh sprigs in there as well. Get some color in there. Get some color. So this is pretty simple. You were saying this only takes a few minutes at the, at the restaurant. Yeah, together. I'm working at electrifying speed though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our kitchen's very small. And we'll save a little bit for, you know, our guests today. And then you're gonna top with fried shallots. You're also gonna chop some cilantro. We're gonna put that right over there. Move that out of the way. And another chef and nut. And then you're gonna do this. And that's about it. There There's it a beef is. salad right here. Let's set that right up front for everyone to see. That looks fantastic and minimal cooking, which is nice minimal for us in cooking. the summer. <laughs> it really is. And this is very easy to cook at home. Uh, you can get some good quality meat from Whole Foods or, you know, your local butcher. Um, I definitely recommend getting some good quality sirloin to do this dish. Well, thank you for cooking with us, Chef Zach Pratt thank with so Boba and Lewiston. And you can find the recipe on the 207 section of our website. Sounds great. Thank you. We'll be right back. All right.